my experience, uh, probably the number one reason why students will stop attending is usually related to family issues. Um, it could be poverty, it could be um, negative influences from a parent or both parents, why it's, it's not important to attend school. Um, I've heard of students being pulled out of school to go work with their father or mother. Um, and often there is value sometimes in that if they're earning money for the family. But unfortunately, the long-term repercussions are far away the, the benefits of going to work that one day and helping out. My peers like in high school is um, when my friends started to drop out and also when I started skipping school, I didn't get much support from the counselor and the teachers as well. And also my friends didn't really help me. My school experience up to well, in general, up to about halfway through grade 12 was hard socially. Um, the academic part of it too was very, it was difficult and I wasn't receiving the proper help. I had a lot of trouble um, just with the, the basic curriculum and just in general, I just had focusing attention issues and I just didn't fit in well. I, um, I did much better when I went to an alternative school and I, I considered dropping out a lot. I uh, threw out my first four years, so while I was at Prince of Wales, I, I considered dropping out many times. I think there are many factors that uh, have come into play for students not to attend school. It could be family issues, could be substance use, could be uh, mental health disorders, depression, anxiety. Um, really, really things that are going on with the students that's taking their, their mind and their energy away from school, where that school becomes secondary to, to dealing with those issues. I left my school because there's two reasons. One is I, I'm not getting support from my parents and the school. They didn't really push me that hard. And also my friends starting to drop out. Choices that students can make to increase the likelihood that they stay in school include uh, first making a choice about their own attitude towards school, uh, making choices around who they hang out with, who, who's actually going to be a good influence on them, uh, peers, parents, uh, responsible adults, those kinds of things, teachers even. Um, students can um, involve themselves in, in activities and find that they are strong in different areas and are able to take the um, progress that they have in those areas and transfer those to other aspects of their lives. My feelings and thoughts on staff at the time were mostly resent. I really didn't, uh, I didn't appreciate anyone that worked there. I, I didn't think anyone was trying to help me. I thought everyone was against me and uh, that really kind of ended when I went to alternative school. I love it here. I love the small, the small school setting. I, you get to know the kids very well and they get to know you. The big part of, of Stretch is for the kids from before, they've always saw teachers and administrators as the enemy. You know, they don't trust adults. They come here and they start to see us as, as people. You know, I'm the teacher, I'm the head teacher. You know, any discipline issues, they have to deal with me. And, you know, I'm always contacting their parents. But they see me as a, a person who actually cares about them. I always ask the kids, do you think I'm on your side or the enemy? And almost always they'll say, <laughs> I think you're on my side. At the alternative program, I was I was receiving more direct help. The teacher to student ratio was a lot better, so the teachers had more time for their individual students. Yeah, the things that I think we provide for kids that enable them to be more successful, I think there's two main things. One is the small class size. I'm a big believer in small schools. I think every school should be like this. I think classes should be no more than 15 to 20 people. Instead, they're, they're double that. Um, Every class is about half the size of the regular system and there are two professionals in the class all the time, a teacher and a program worker. So they get twice as much help and the class is half the size. So that's the first thing, the small class size. The other thing I think is our constant uh, communication with the home. So the home and the school are in constant communication with each other. Um, so the kids, you know, what happens at home uh, usually will affect a person at school and the big schools you know I don't think they can really follow through and find out but here uh, we find out fairly quickly and we can sort of liaise with the home and sort of work on common solutions. 
I decided to complete high school because um, it was just something I needed to do for myself. I didn't really feel complete until I had done that, at least for my education-wise. And I really wanted to get into photography in college at that time, so it was, it was kind of a stepping stone until then. I've been working with a student who never passed grade 8. She dropped out of uh, one of our alternate schools here in Richmond three different times um, for various reasons, sometimes behavior related, sometimes academics and an unwillingness to do work. And she has now completed English 10, even though she never did 8 or 9. Um, she's now enrolled in English 11, and she has hopes of graduating. Not finishing your high school is, re is a bad idea. Um, there's so many reasons not finishing your high school. You, can, you don't want to, you can't get a job that you want. Also, it's hard to get into college because you, you didn't finish your high school. And it's just hard to blend in with some people when you don't finish your high school. I decided to complete school because I had more um, a motivation. Um, my family has a history of not doing so well education-wise, so it was it was more of a motivation for me to, to finish school and go on to learn more post-secondary. So I think that if everyone understood that as a community we are all responsible for each other, that uh, individuals can then be able to uh, be picked up and find their way. And uh, once people find that path, it's up to them to make those plans and follow through with them and have people there cheering them on, celebrating those successes and being there to understand when things go wrong, what were the pieces that weren't there and that need to be tweaked. And I think that overall though, if that inner desire is there, then young people can really find a way to make themselves someone they can be proud of. Thank <laughs> you.